as much up here as it's then is here. Um, finally, another proper review. Uh, this is a Danish beer today for this review, and as I promised. And it's my first craft beer from Denmark. Of course, I've had the Tuborg and the Carlsberg and everything, all those beers, I've had those. But this is the first um, kind of crafty brewery coming out of, uh, in this case, Copenhagen. It's a 6.5% English IPA called Bombay Pale Ale. And the brewery is called uh, Nørrebro Breikus, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, Peter from Master Harpers, by the way, shout out to you. This is a 600 milliliter bottle, quite interesting. It's, it's larger than your typical European half litre, or the twice as big almost as your uh, 33 centiliter bottle. So I'm going to fill up this uh, not a glass of mine as much as I can, but it's not going to fit there completely. From what I've read in the net from beer reviews, this is an English style IPA, but it's probably going to be a bit more hoppy. This was not a cheap beer, this is about 7 50 at the liquor store in Ontario. This is where I got it from, but this was a gift from both Barbarians, so I didn't have to pay for it. Cheers to Boris, I guess. Uh, thanks a lot. So, without further ado, let's start the review. I'm really excited and thirsty for this beer. Quite a peculiar orange cap with the uh, brewery's name on it and the logo is kind of interesting it has some pattern on it and all of their beers apparently look like that just with different colors so here's the pour it's a very thin uh, bottleneck so it's giving us plenty of carbonation from, from what it looks like right? it's sort of a cross between an English and American style IPA as, as far as the actual body goes it's a light copper or sort of a medium amber body to it so it's not as golden as many American IPAs but all the while it's not as it's not a very deep copper color you get in most English IPAs it's sort of a, a mix of two worlds and the head is nice and fluffy ah uh -huh. so this is this apparently this is brewed with English hops but they've put quite an amount of hops so it's a very upfront it's a very hoppy smell but the overall flow, overall texture I'm getting, overall profile is very English. It's it's more like flowery and herbal and a bit grassy and a bit earthy. Definitely not very piney or uh, citrusy. But there's a bit of a grapefruit note to it as well. So uh, cheers, let's try it. Amazing. This is such an interesting mix. This is also a dry hop beer, so I guess this is what it gives it that almost American character. So in the taste, it's all also very flowery and earthy, with some nice bitterness, but all the while some sweetness. Tiny bit of citrus. I'm guessing more lemon than grapefruit, actually, with a bit of a sour or tart note. Very lively carbonation. It's light to medium body. Um, it's not fizzy, but it's not you know it's not super thick either. It's not syrupy. Really drinks well. It's a very tasty IPA. So a lot of people complain about English IPAs not having enough of a hop bite, I suppose. This surely has everything. This packs as much intensity and bitterness and hoppiness as an American IPA. Just the only difference is that all the ingredients are English style. This can prove to American IPA lovers that are sort of, who are sort of skeptical about English IPAs that it's, it's just about the amount of ingredients. It's not about the actual ingredients because English hops are very aromatic and they're very they can make the beer really good and tasty well this is a very good experimental kind of beer I guess it's well worth the 750 something I'm gonna get back to you but so far this is good I'm getting a bit of a, a bit of a grapefruit at the back right now as well yeah lovely beer Bombay Pale Ale so far so good alright so I'm back with the Bombay Pale Ale from Nuremberg. Um, what can I say? It is a very, very interesting beer, um, and it's a very good combination of sort of uh, the amount of hoppy to expect in an American IPA and the ingredients to expect in a more traditional English style one. The dry hopping really does make a difference, and I'm really tasting very you know, juicy notes. And it's a very kind of funky, fruity profile from the yeast you get. I'm getting some apricots, a bit of honey, maybe a bit of orange as well. Well balanced beer, I like the body um, and the fact that it's not too dry, not too sweet, not too bitter. It's very smooth. And so as far as the grades go, I'm going to make it short. I'm going to say A4 appearance. Looks interesting but uh, you know, head retention is alright. Not much lacing and the colour is fine. Um, the taste will get 
a solid 9. The taste is really good. I like the taste. As I said, it's very balanced. It's hoppy. All the while, it's still very English tasting. It's some nice caramel toffee kind of in the background. Just a very enjoyable, smooth drinking beer with enough flavor to it and enough interesting kind of peculiar notes to it. Uh, I've already skipped the aroma. The aroma is going to get just an eight, but it's it's sort of the aroma. Nothing super spectacular about it, but it does let you know that the hops are there and that it's a very English smelling beer, I guess. I suppose the mouthfeel. Uh, I was going to give this a nine, but I'm going to give it just to uh, give it an eight. It's good, but it's not the best mouthfeel ever. I mean, there are IPAs which are exceptionally smooth or exceptionally just very, 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 very pleasant in the mouth. This one is good, but it's not exceptional, so I can't give it more than eight. It's certainly higher than the average for good IPAs, but it's still, you know, it's not that unique. Finally, the drinkability is going to get an eight. At six and a half, this is fine. Don't taste the alcohol. It goes down smooth. But again, there's nothing super spectacular about it. It's just a very, very solid drinking IPA. Overall, I'm going to give this, it's almost a 9, but I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 for Bombay Pale Ale. Uh, just taking into consideration all the factors and everything, it's a good experiment. It's a solid beer. If you just consider this an English IPA, it's still very good. And this is really a great start for me as far as the Danish craft beers go. Kind of jealous of pizza from Master Puppets because uh, he lives there. He gets all the American, a lot of American beers, and these nice. Um, I don't know if you get this one. Let me know if you get if you get uh, Norebo. Shout out to Borst Barbarian. Thanks for providing this beer. I think next time I'm gonna do another one. He gave me two beers. It's gonna be a uh, coffee porter from Ontario. So yeah, eight out of ten for this beer, Bombay Pale Ale. This is nice. See you guys next time. But before I sign out. I think I'm going to go to New York City next weekend, so I'll probably meet with a couple of people, Chad, 9976, Chad's beer reviews, possibly um, Hagen Blown for I Taste Your Beer. He, I think he subscribed to my channel, I discovered his channel. He's really good, check him out, he's an official, like, he gets paid to taste beer, so he's really good, and I love the, the format of his videos, so if I get to meet that guy, it'd be awesome. See you soon, and stick to the beer. Cheers.